Hey there, this is Elizabeth Maxwell from such titles as Attack on Titan, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, and Ruby, and you are watching Supernova TV, you lucky person, you. Willing to sell your ghost for the sake of some uniform standard? Sacrificing those less fortunate than you are? You've all been given cyber brains and ghosts to guide your actions. If you want something from others, you have to find something to offer in return. We are here with Elizabeth Maxwell. Elizabeth, you are one of the voices in Ruby, but also you are... Motoko Kusanagi in Ghost in the Shell, <laughs> and that excites the hell out of me because I love that series. What was it like for you jumping into that character? Uh, well, it was terrifying. Yeah. <laughs> really? <laughs> I, uh, I've looked up to Mary Elizabeth McGlynn my whole life. Yeah. Um, Ghost in the Shell, that original movie, is actually mm. the first anime that I ever saw. Oh, for real? Um, yeah. I was really too young to be watching it. Yeah. I did not understand fully what was going on. So yeah, I have to, I will say um, there was a lot of both uh, personal kind of pressure that I put on myself and also just knowing that I was filling the shoes of a giant yeah. uh, in the industry. So it was, uh, it was a little nerve wracking, but it was also a huge honor. And I was, I was really happy with the way everything turned out. And I awesome. loved the whole cast yeah. that they put together for that. I, I saw that you're quite into uh, a bit of combat. Like, yeah. this is how you keep fit? This yeah. is, so is it, is it uh, stage combat or is it um, like stunt work? Uh, D, all of the above. All of the above, <laughs> right, okay. Um, I do primarily uh, kickboxing right now. Okay, um, awesome. Yeah, and I actually, I was uh, taking Krav Maga, and I'm yeah. not sure if you're familiar with that, but I yeah. actually hurt my hand. Oh. Um, so I had to step away from that for a couple weeks. Um, but yeah, I've been trained in uh, stunt fighting, um, uh, let's see, like uh, uh, sword work, so, you know, broadsword, uh, epee, um, so cutlass, cool. uh, knife and dagger, um, and then, yeah, just kind of like I said, basic uh, stage fighting. Yeah, it kind of runs the gamut. <laughs> <laughs> so with, with something like Ruby, where there is so much fighting and everything, does does knowing a little bit of, of combat and everything actually help you when it comes to, I mean, you, I know you're making the noises, mm -hmm. but does that sort of inform that at all? It absolutely does, yeah, because I, you know from doing the movements what kind of sounds uh, you tend to make <laughs> when, when you're in combat. Mm. And so I feel like it does add what I hope is a little bit more realism. Legends of Zelda is, is, you know, massive, massive series of games and everything. Breath of the Wild, I thought, brought a whole new level to the to the world, and your character Obosa, just mm. so wonderful. How did you go about getting that role? I mean, just an audition, or? Yeah, um, I mean, it was kind of one of those. A lot of times with high-profile video games, you don't actually know what you're auditioning for. There's a huge level of secrecy. Um, because so much of, of a video, you know, the, the success of a video game relies on them being able to have a tight lid on like the secrets and the surprises and the content and the story. Yeah. So, I mean, the names weren't real, the dialogue that we auditioned with wasn't real, it was all kind of, all code right. done for this audition. Um, but yeah, I, I auditioned in LA, I had to fly out to LA, I live in Austin, right. Texas, so I flew out there. Uh, first round of auditions went well, so I flew out there again for the callbacks. Uh, still didn't know what I was getting myself into. Booked the role, still didn't know what it was, and I show up to the recording studio in LA. Um, they usher me in and they're like, okay, we'll give you a few minutes to settle in. There's a script if you want to start reading through before we start doing levels. And I was like, okay, great. All right, da 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 Hyrule. <laughs> And unfortunately for me, on the other side of the glass were like eight Nintendo executives oh, and I was having like a meltdown. <laughs> You're like, mm. um, I think it's probably like the first meltdown I've had since I've started doing um, VO. Thank you so much for joining us. Absolutely. You've been amazing. We'll do it Thank again Thank you for sometime. having me.